Okay, so this is an easy problem from the 1D Array section of Mastering Four Critical Skills Using C++, the Udemy course. Um, this is called Unique Numbers of Ordered List, and basically the user is going to enter in a bunch of numbers from lowest up to highest, and the program will output all of the unique numbers within that list. Now, our constraints are that the uh, the size, uh, the number of uh, integers entered will be um, up to 1000, although I won't be doing that in this video, and the value of the integer must be between 0 and 500. Now, there is a way to do this without using an array at all, but I'm going to use an array because the title of the section is 1D Arrays. So, um, this is a relatively straightforward problem. First of all, um, we prompt the user to enter their, uh, the number of integers, and we also need an array. Um, according to the constraints, an array of size 1000 would be good. I'm going to use 1001, um, just for completeness. Um, so the first thing we need to do is um, enter um, the well. The user is going to need to enter all their values, and that's relatively easy. I mean, this kind of thing is quite straightforward. Now um, we want to output all of the unique numbers in our list, and there's quite a cheap trick that we use to help us achieve this. The first thing we do is we print out the very first value um, that we have, and then we go through the remainder of the array, and what we're looking for is if the um, an array value is the same or different to the um, previously input value. So let me show you what I mean. Basically, we're, we're starting from um, check equals 1, int check equals 1, and if that is not the same as the previous value in the array, then we're going to output that value. But if it is the same, we don't need to output it. And basically, what this will do is, since we've already output the first value in the array, um, if we have a value that's the same as it, then we can basically safely ignore it. Um, but if we have a value that's different, then we print it out. And then we go through the rest of the loop, um, looking for a number that is unique or different to the one that preceded it. Um, basically, if I use the uh, original sample input as shown here, um, well, we're entering 12 numbers. The numbers are two ones, two, 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 five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and we should get a unique list. Oh, sorry, a list of all the unique numbers. And there it is.